Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video and I saw this tag at Beauty Bean's channel, I will leave her down in the description but this is created by Maria, also known as Agabe Love Girl. so sorry if I pronounce your name wrong and this is a tag created by her and this is the Boucher okay, I, I, I don't know why I don't read it like 10 times before I say it because it's going to be wrong. The Bushi Beauty Guru tag. And I thought this was such a fun tag, so I wanted to do it. And this is 11 questions. And it's about we are going to figure out if I'm a Bushi Beauty Guru, not a Beauty Guru, if I'm Bushi or not. And uh, I think we just get started. So question number one. Would you rather buy one expensive luxury item or buy several items with the same amount of money? And I don't know how to answer this because I want to buy... If I want something... Okay, say it like this. If I have to choose like a Anastasia Beverly Hills palette or like dupe palettes for dupe palettes to dupe that one palette I would rather buy the Anastasia palette did that even make sense? so if it's something I really want I can spend more money I really I like to spend money on things I want instead of spending the same amount of money on things that I maybe use so I think it's I think I would spend money, even if it's more money on one item, but an item that I'm going to use. That was such a long, complicated answer to a easy question. I would buy one expensive product if I really wanted that, instead of just shopping things for the shopping sake. Question number two. When it comes to beauty products, do you believe the phrase, you get what you pay for? And Yes and no, it depends so much on what it is. I think a lipstick, it can be super good even though it's cheap. And a foundation can be good even if it's cheap and sometimes yes and sometimes no. And I think it's a pretty big difference between buying like super cheap products and like mid-range products and expensive products I think it is you get what you pay for if you buy like this super super cheap things of course there is super good cheaper products but like a foundation I think it's hard to find a good foundation that costs like just a couple of dollars I think that is hard but if you pay like a little, say you pay like $10 instead of $5, then I think you get what you are paying for. But if you pay $25 instead of $10, I don't think you get what you pay for. With some products, yes, of course. With most products, no. And Betty Jean said, she's a hairdresser, and she said like, with hair things, you get what you pay for. and. I think I can agree with that, like shampoo, the more expensive shampoos are better, both for your hair and yeah, they are better. So with like shampoo I think you get what you pay for, but with dry shampoo you can buy the cheapest one and it can be super good. So Question number three, what's the most expensive beauty item you have purchased with your own money? And I was thinking about this. And I actually don't know what is my... It is an eyeshadow palette. It must be an Anastasia palette. Or Anastasia Glow Kit. How much are they? I think an eyeshadow palette from Anastasia is the thing. If we just talk about not paying taxes and stuff. And like fees and stuff. I think it's an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It has to be that. In Sweden they cost 550. 45 Swedish crowns 595 545 so it must be a Anastasia Beverly Hills palette question number four are you willing to buy products at a full price or do you usually wait for a sale or discount code and 
and I usually if it is like in the things they usually don't have any discounts code and there I also want to support the brand so I don't wait for any discounts code or sale when it comes to in the brands most of the in the brands but if it's like Colourpop I usually search for a code before I make an order in Sweden kicks if you are a member you get 20% off and any item each month so I usually wait for that coupon if I'm going to buy something from Kix because I know it's coming. So yes, sometimes I wait from, for indie brands. I, I don't care because I want to support the brand. Question number five. Where do you shop for beauty products the most? And it is either in the brand's own site or Kix. Oh, beauty Bay. Okay, and this question, question number six. Don't hate me for my answer. How often do you get your nails and or hair done? And my nails never, I have never got my nails done because I paint them myself. Because I I think it's relax, relaxing to sit down and do my nails. Now I don't have any special. But I think it's relaxing to sit down, maybe listen to podcast or something like that and do my nails so I do them myself and I try to paint them once a week and my hair if you are a professional hairdresser you maybe shouldn't listen to this answer I cut my hair like not even once a year I'm sorry I know you should cut your hair more often than that <sighs> But my hair just grows and I I never do something with my hair, I never take care of it. So yeah, maybe once a year. I think I soon going to cut it again though because it's getting pretty long. And I want I think I want to keep it short. I usually cut my hair short and then let it grow to my belly or something. And then I cut it short again and then it grows out and I do like this, so yeah, but I think I will start to do it maybe two times a year. Mm -hmm, I know, super often. But when I had my side cut, I shaved it other every few weeks, I think. Because either it got too long, but after I... The other hair... Yeah, once a year. I'm sorry. Question number seven. Do you prefer long or short nails and short nails? I have though the, I don't know, the luck, for me it's not luck, I have really strong nails, like my own nails are really really strong and they grow super fast but I hate to have long nails, I think they're just in the way, so I always cut them this short because I hate long nails. I like that you can do like the sound but I hate long nails, they are always in the way. I hate long nails and when you are like I'm working at an office and typing on a computer and if you have two long nails they like get stuck in when you're typing so I hate long nails question number eight which makeup brush brand is your favorite and I think you might know where this is what that is it's Linda Hallberg 100% Linda Hallberg both face brushes and eyeshadow brushes I have all their brushes at least one I have many duplicates, but that is my absolute favorite brand when it comes to brushes. In a close second place, it is Real Techniques, but Linda Hallberg has my heart when it comes to makeup brushes. Question number nine. High-end or drugstore mascaras? And I have loved like one high-end mascara, and that is Better Than Sex from Too Faced. Other than that, it's drugstore. I love, this is my super new favorite mascara, it's worth the hype from NYX, I think this is almost empty. I love this and I also love the Swedish brand Isadora. They have amazing mascaras, so for mascara, absolutely drugstore. Question number 10. Think of your favorite makeup brand. Is it drugstore, high-end, luxury or indie? And one of my absolute favorite brands is Linda Hallberg. They are an indie brand, but they are also, I think they're, 
I don't know if they are considered as a high-end brand. Maybe they are because they are not a drugstore, but they are a more expensive indie brand, I would say. But indie brand is is my favorite. When it comes to eyeshadows and lips, when it comes to complexion products, it is definitely drugstore. But it, when it comes to eyeshadows, and I love eyeshadows the most, eyeshadows and lipstick, it is in brand. So I would have to say in the brand. It's in the brand on that one. Okay, and question number 11, the last question. Considering your answer to these questions, do you think you are bougie? And no, I don't. I don't think you think that either. I have never been like this brand person. The only thing I always buy that has been that I wanted a brand is Converse. Shoes. Uh, nothing else. I am not that kind of person. No. So I don't think I'm bougie. And I hope you don't think that as well. Even though it's not a bad thing to be bougie, but I don't think I am with anything in my life. Maybe headphones, but there you get what you pay for. But that has nothing to do with beauty. So that was all for this tag and don't forget to check out Maria, the creator of this tag. And if you want to do this tag, do it. I think it's a fun tag. And I will leave all the questions down in the description and I don't tagging somebody to do this or I tag everybody to do this that see this tag video so if you have a channel do it if you don't share about some of the questions down in the comments so yeah I really hope you like this video and if you are not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye